So what is my thoughts about the Scrono docking station and is it worth it the hype? If you want to know that and much more about this product, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And today we'll be talking about this docking station that I've been using on this studio for a while and why I think that is one of the best docking station, if not the best one that you can purchase with your own money. The first thing that I like about this type of docking station is the fact that it is going to make you gain a lot of space in your studio, in your table. But don't get me wrong, you can purchase something like this that is much more expensive than the one that I have here on my MacBook Pro M3 Max, but this can deliver something that other solutions like the one that I have here, they will not be able to deliver to you. One of the things that you have to have in consideration before you purchase the docking station from Ascronos is the fact that it's only available on this color. So in other words, if you want to purchase the M3 Max, for example, like I have here, you can't buy this darker version because they only come in this color. On the back, you have these two USB-Cs that you only have to use one of them to connect to your Apple display. And basically your Apple display will deliver the amount of energy that you need to basically turn on your Mac. I'm honest with you guys, I would like to have seen a little bit more ports in here because in the end of the day, you just stay with one available. What you will have to do is obviously to purchase a hub or obviously maybe just the ports that you have on your display is enough. But for example, here on my studio, I'm using their hub connected on the back. So it allows me to connect more devices to my MacBook Pro. To connect your computer to your screen, you only have to slide your computer and after you have this green light showing you that the computer is now connected properly and you can now use it as a desktop. Even if you have to put it in and out multiple times, as you can see, there is no scratches whatsoever on my computer. So definitely a plus for the Ascronos docking station. Looking towards the back of your computer, you can see that you have some holes here for the air to come out some more on the bottom and also on the other side. And if we look to the Ascronos, you can see that you have some holes also on the sides and on the bottom to allow the air to come out. And that's one of the benefits that I see on this product because, for example, if you still have a Mac, an Intel Mac, they run quite high in temperatures. So having the possibility to slide your computer in this position, it will continue to allow the air to come from the back. And as you can see, the holes to allow the air to come through, they are completely aligned with the ones that you find on your MacBook Pro. Talking about the disadvantage of the Ascronos docking station is the fact that you can only slide your computer in and out in a specific position. So in other words, for me, it's not a problem because I normally want my computer on my left hand side. But if you want to put on your right hand side, you'll be constantly looking to the back of your computer, something that I'm not so happy about. So in other words, you will have to basically point your computer towards the wall to be able to continue to have a good aesthetics using the Ascrono docking station if you want to put the computer towards your right hand side. Something that I'd like to have seen different on this one is the possibility to have two entry, one for your jack and one for a card reader. But unfortunately, that is not available in here. And I think that they've done that, obviously thinking that the new generations, you have a card reader on the front. But for example, even if we look to the MacBook Pro M3, the jack is on the back. The only way that you'll be able to connect your headphones is through their hub that have a jack incorporated if you choose the bigger version. When we talk about build construction, this is all metal and is quite heavy. So that's definitely something that I like on this device because when you have it on the table with the weight of your computer, and if I grab it here and I slide it, it's quite a heavy one, so it doesn't move whatsoever. Obviously, when we talk about Max, it's a massive investment. So this one was about 5,000 pounds, and that one is basically also 5,000 pounds. So when we look to our computers, I have to say that I'm much more safe using this one than using the one that I have in there. But obviously in price, that is a massive difference. And like I said before in the beginning of the video, that is a massive plus by using this type of docking station. But this device, even if it's my favorite docking station on the market at this moment, comes with a big downside is the fact that, first of all, obviously the price is quite heavy and you will not be able to connect to a different Mac. So in this case, I have here the MacBook Pro M3 
max that their docking station works for the M1, M2 and M3. But imagine that in the future comes an M4 and the thickness of the computer will be different. You will not be able to use this device again because it will not fit. So for me, because I have this one for my old MacBook Pro that is much, much thinner, I'm now stuck and I need to sell this one with my old computer because it doesn't fit my new computer. But like I said, this one comes with a massive bonus that I simply hated the solution that I have in here. First of all, it doesn't give me the reinsurance that this one gives me because it's just a screw on the back that it can get loose over time. That is a massive investment of money in here. Besides the fact that the rubbers, they are not the same as you find in here. So I'm a little bit more stressed to scratch my new MacBook Pro M3 Max. But the biggest advantage that I see in here, so if you are at school and you have to take it off often, or if you do a job that you have to constantly be on the go, this chrono allow you to just slide your computer and connect it straight away. So in other words, you'll be able to just have obviously your hub connected to these chronos and you don't have to do constantly like I have to do here to unplug everything and plug everything once again. So the big benefit of purchasing the Escrono docking station is the fact that you don't have to have anything plugged in or maybe like me, I have one of the cameras connected to the front, but that is because of the bus entry that is different from one side of the computer to the other. Besides that, if I had an Escrono docking station with my MacBook Pro M3, I'll be able to just slide out and slide in. And at the moment, I have to constantly unplug everything and connect it once again. So what is your thoughts about the Escrono docking station? Do you think it's worth it, the price tag? For me, it's a great device if you want to upgrade your desk setup and definitely the build construction is worth it, the price. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And don't forget to come back next week to talk a little bit more about my MacBook Pro M3 Max and what is the best solution for 2024, which computer you should purchase from Apple for this year or maybe you should wait for the next year but we'll talk about that really really soon